Yo, what is cool with y'all? Hope that all you guys are doing well. In this tutorial, I'll be breaking down how you can create this insane mask zoom through transition that has been going around for a while. It actually looks insane, and I'll be showing you guys different ways you can do it and how to spice it up inside of After Effects. And as usual, I'll be going through everything step by step, and I won't gatekeep anything. So let's jump right into After Effects and get straight into it. Yo, real quick before we get into it, I just want to give a quick shout out to my shop, Lurking Visual Sauce Store, where I sell all of my personal presets and assets that I've been it for years while editing music videos so if you're a music video editor who want to level up your edits i would highly recommend that you go and check out my packs i have some for premiere pro and some for after effects and i also have some overlay pack for all editing softwares so if you're looking to level up your edits make sure to check out the first link in the description but let's get right into the effect so i'm in after effects right now and i got this shy k music video i got some pretty clean clips that will be easy to mask out and when it comes to this effect it will be easier to do it when someone has like hood on or something like that so you have something you can zoom through and that's exactly what i got right here so the first step will be to cut my scene right here towards the end but since my clip is so short i'll cut it right here in the middle that should do and then i'll grab the rotor brush tool and start masking out my subject right here and i'll only mask out his face and try to not get anything of the hood and I'll make sure to go through everything frame by frame just to make sure that it doesn't mess up anywhere because that will kind of ruin the effect so do that so make sure to check every single frame and fix it if it messes up and before we freeze our rotoscope we gotta press the invert button right here in our rotor brush settings so we can invert our masking and now we will just have his hood masked out and then we can go back to our rotoscope layer right here and press freeze just to make sure that it doesn't mess up later on when I'm working on this effect. But now that I've done that, I'll be adding on a Refine Soft Matte effect. And I'll be dragging down the additional edge radius to like 4 and then bump up the feather. And now we just got a little bit of a cleaner mask right here. Compared to before, we just made the edges a little bit smoother. Now that I've done that, and for my duplication, I can actually remove all of the effects. So now we're just back at square one. But I'll go to the end of my clip right here. And for our mask layer, I will move our anchor point to the middle of his face. That way we can make a clean zoom through using just the scale. So I can go back to the beginning of my clip and press a scale keyframe right there. And then go all the way to the end right here. And then we can zoom through. And now if I hide my background layer right here, you can tell that we've completely zoomed through his full face, just like that. And I'll turn on motion blur and I'll be messing with the graph editor. So I'll ease my keyframes and head to the value graph right here. If your graph doesn't look like this, just press right here and select value graph. And I'll be making a graph that looks something like this. Just make it as smooth as possible and give some time for the effect to go through just like that and now we got this going on and I'll actually remove the background layer and just duplicate this layer over again and remove all of the rotoscope settings from this one and now we got our background layer lined up correctly Bitch. and now that I've got that I'll be messing with the opacity so press T on our keyboard and create a keyframe for the opacity and I'll go like a few frames in towards the end and I'll turn the opacity down maybe like halfway through the clip and now if I play it through this is what I got so if you'd like to you could keep it like black right here when it zooms through and then the next clip could start right here or you could just have your clip in the in its mask just like that there's so many different ways you can mess with this effect but what I will go with is this kind of black look now if I play the full effect through this is what I got that's decent I'm really happy with how that looks and if you'd like to you can also mess with the opacity on the next clip so create an opacity keyframe drag it over and then turn it down all the way to zero right here then I can put it right next to that clip and now if I play it through we got a smooth transition right there too so there really is so many different ways you can mess with this effect I'll probably keep it like this and just add a subtle shake right here from my shake pack just as a finishing touch so I'll create a new adjustment layer. So after adding on a shake from my shake pack, this is what I got. 
and I'm really happy with how that looks. It gave me, I think it gave a really good look and, and comes in really good after this transition. But that's basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, check out my crazy packs that I got linked in the description. But take care and I'll see you guys in the next one.